This is the future. Is the future. Well, hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. And um, for you guys who have been following me for a while, will know that I have a gym in my man cave, which is also my uh, studio, and also my study, and also my washroom, and multi purpose room, actually. So this video is a part of a new series called Home Gym and um, techniques that you can do, especially if you are a kind of guy like me. Now when I say that, I mean, number one, I don't have money to buy all the food that they require you to eat for mass building. In other words, I don't eat 10 times a day, I don't have eggs and proteins and chicken and all that shit, I don't have that. I didn't have the funds to support that and I've been on and off in the gym since I was I think 20 there about and mass builders doesn't work I've been drinking tons and tons of mass builders and unfortunately my metabolism is too fast there's no way that I ever pick up weight I mean I was weighing 62 kilograms you can convert it yourself my whole life from high school until I was about 30 then only I gained weight up to 70 and uh, at this moment that's where I am 70 72 kgs uh, I've never had any muscle definition I was always a skinny lad and then um, come last year June I started off with these weights this is what I got first and I started exercising a little bit doing some you know, basic exercises uh, on the floor, push-ups, sit-ups, some weight, uh, weights. And the reason for the training is that in my profession, you have to be fit. It's one of the basic requirements because I'm a fireman. You have to be fit. Later on, in June, July, I got these two weights plus the long one and the bench. This is what I got in June, July and I started working at a program going to muscle wiki you will see all the exercises that you can do to target all the muscle groups and uh, using weights come December I got this bad boy in December so I've been gymming now in my house for almost a year I've got more muscle definition and I definitely look and feel much better so I've got a 65 kilogram stack so once I run out of weight, I can move over to the machine. As you guys see, I've got limited weight and I obviously don't have a lot of cash to buy more weight. I've been changing my program almost every month. The reason for home gymming. Number one, I won't say I'm that self-conscious, but I like to look like an asshole or an idiot in my own house. I don't have other people complaining. I can use my weight at my leisure. I can do with them what I want, I can exercise any way I want, I can exercise when I want. Now I know I'm not always consistent, depending on work and shifts, I sometimes don't get to it, but I try to gym at least once a week. And uh, for this one year challenge, I'm gonna try and stick to it, and stick to the times, and make sure that I don't miss out on anything. I've made a very vicious program, that I will show you guys shortly. and. Um, I'm not planning on changing it again. The reason for changing it was I wanted to uh, bullshit the muscles so you don't go into that plateau stage. Um, but the way the, the thing that I've learned now is what we're going to try. So let me go uh, show you the program and uh, show you what we're going to do. And if you're a guy like me having a home gym or want to buy a home gym or want to start off and struggles to maybe lose weight or struggle to pick up weight and you don't have a lot of cash but you want to feel good, you want to look good, you want to do something about yourself then this video is for you. Let me show you the program. Okay guys, let's take a look at Venom here. 
and see our one year gym program. This is now a year challenge. Okay. When you had your 30 day challenges, this is my challenge for one year. Okay, and there's a lot of stuff going on here. And uh, before we get into that, let me just show you my previous gym program that I've been using. As you guys can see, I've got plenty of exercises that I can do. The gym keeps me busy about two hours at a time. And uh, this is the weights I've been using. And I mean, look at this. This is a long list. This was another, when I changed it again, and I changed it again, and I keep on changing it and changing it and changing it. This was the last one now that I did. Um, so I had to split it up in four days to try and spend less time in the gym because when I'm working, um, how can I say, uh, when I'm working shifts, it's difficult to come home at night at eight o'clock and then still have to do a two hour gym session. So if I can keep it down to an hour, that'll be perfect. So um, as you guys can see here, this is the rules. Okay, we will start with a comfortable weight. Now this is for, especially for the guys who want to start gymming. This is for your newbies. We start off with a comfortable weight. Don't start with something heavy at the beginning because you're not Arnold and you don't want to be the Hulk. You don't want to injure yourself and look cool in front of your friends and let them think you're a pussy because you can't pick up a heavy weight. Start comfortable. You start with eight reps and increase them by one rep every week. After reaching 20 reps, increase the weight. So we're first gonna work on a comfortable weight and increase the reps. The reason why we do this progressively is you want the muscle to be overloaded every time you gym. Otherwise your muscles will not grow. If you do not stimulate them to grow and you keep the same weight forever and ever, the muscle will not be tempted or stimulated to grow more. And you need to rest in between guys because your muscles need time to repair itself. So with every new weight, you're going to start at 8 reps again and increase from there. Weight should be adequate to maintain your form. It doesn't help you pick up an extremely heavy weight to the wrong form, exercising the muscle wrongly, injuring yourself. You have to have the correct form otherwise there will be no gain. And that's why we say pick up a comfortable weight to be able to do the reps and keep your form. You get guys that pick up weights that's too heavy because they want to be macho and then they swing their arms or they use their body weight or momentum to do the exercise, which is actually messing up the whole form and not doing anything for that guy. Do each rep with one second interval. That means one second up, one second down. If you are out of weights and out of reps, you can increase the time by three seconds up and three seconds down. That puts more load for longer on the muscle. We want to try and target all muscle groups twice per week. One day of fitness or cardio will be added because it doesn't have to just gym and you don't do anything about the belly fat or anything about your cardio. And on weekends, you rest. You take those two days, you rest. Muscles need to rest, like we said, need time to repair itself. Muscles won't grow if you don't increase the load. Muscles will be measured once per month. Now, these are my current measurements. Right bicep is 32 centimeters, left bicep 32.5. My neck is 40, shoulders 120, chest 97. Midsection is 87, stomach 84. My ass is 101. Right and left leg is basically 60 centimeters. We want to see if we can increase that by the end of the year and how much it increased. Sorry for the dogs, guys. They're just irritating. And the other thing is we want to measure it monthly to see if there is any difference. Apologies for that. So how we're going to do the training week one will be weights, weights only. The second week will be the Trojan machine. Week three weights, week four Trojan. So we will alternate. So that at least you use everything and it's also to like I said make up or save time so um, we're gonna start with this as soon as possible not today um, it's already for me it's already past one and um, I don't have time to do it now exercise weights day one and day four we'll do the traps shoulders mid back chest 
And then uh, day two and five, lats, lower back, glutes, calves, biceps, forearms, and triceps. And then uh, on your exercise day three, or day three is your cardio day, you'll do push-ups, sit-ups, jump rope, and steps. Come the week after that, we'll do close grip lat pull-downs, cable front rises, side rises, deadlifts, chest, and so on, and day four and five, upright rows. So as you guys can see on the machine, there's less exercises. So in your second week, you'll be taking it a bit easier. So what I'm gonna do is on this week, I'm gonna add exercises as we do this, especially to make up some time, or if I get any new ideas, I'm gonna add it. So the first month is going to be a month for adjustments and try and tri uh, trials and error. Uh, yeah, you guys know what I mean. And uh, we'll take it from there. So that's it. It's a massive program, and uh, we'll see if it's going to make any difference, and if I'm going to get any gains from this. So uh, once again, if you guys are interested in following me, please feel free. And also, please feel free to drop me comments if you see that I'm doing something wrong on my form, or doing something uh, that you guys think I can do better, or that's a better exercise that uh, is much more enjoyable, then don't forget to drop me a comment. So guys. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If, it's, if you feel like it's something you want to follow or that you'll be interested in, then uh, stick around because there will be some more videos. And like I said, I'm planning on um, updating you monthly. We'll do measurements monthly and we'll see if there's going to be any difference in the way that some people normally gym and the way that I've done this program now. Especially if you have limited weights. Thanks again, guys. Until next time. Be safe and don't injure yourself. Cheers. Hey guys, if you like this video, please consider subscribing to this channel. Give me a thumbs up because it will really help out this channel. And feel free to drop a comment. Then something new for you all, there is now a Facebook page, so feel free to follow me on my Facebook group. We will be discussing behind the scene features and videos that I have done. Also, don't forget to go to my website at www.cripzone.co.za where you can go straight to my podcasts if you want to. By clicking on the podcast icon, you'll be taken straight to the Anchor podcast page where I do my podcast. And remember, when you go to my YouTube page, there will be a place where you can subscribe to my channel. Um, and remember, if you have any comments, please feel free to drop me an email. And on my YouTube front page, there is now a PayPal donation button where you can feel free to donate to this channel to help it grow and to help to support me. Thanks for watching and until next time, cheers.